All right, we are live, I think, hopefully. Let's see here. Sounds working. Let me know, send me a, uh, a message, put, put a message in the chat, make sure we're, we're live and working well. Everybody can see and hear me over there. I think we should be good to go. All right, uh, I am Drew Badger, the founder of EnglishAnyone.com and the English Fluency Guide. And in this video, we're going to be talking about pronunciation and the forgotten rules of pronunciation specifically. Uh, so there are 44 sounds of English and uh, hopefully by helping you learn these the same way natives used to learn them. Uh, nice to see you there. Oh, Arturo's back. Look at that. You must be just hanging out on YouTube <laughs> all the time when I'm, when I'm going live. It's good to see you though. I see you changed your name back. Uh, but hopefully everyone is, is doing well over there. Everything is okay. Glad to hear it. All right, uh, so I wanted to make this video. I did a version of this on Instagram a few days ago and people enjoyed that. The reason I'm making this is because I wanted, uh, <laughs> it's, two, it's two different Arturos. Is that, really, is there, that's amazing. Yeah, there's like two different Arturos in this. <laughs> uh, fantastic, well we need more. Find all the, the Arturos you can find and get them all. I want to have like 20 different Arturos. <laughs> that would be awesome. Well, thank you for the, the kind words out there. Uh, it's great to see everybody uh, and yeah, glad to hear it. Nice to, nice to see everybody out there. All right, uh, so I wanted to make this video just like the one I made for Instagram because I was talking with my younger sister and uh, she is, uh, or her son is now learning to read. I think he's a third year, uh, kindergarten yeah third year in kindergarten and uh, so he's now learning pronunciation and my old and my younger sister was surprised by the uh the various uh like the rules that he was learning in school that either she had just never learned or she forgot them so i wanted to cover those uh, so what we're going to do is go through all of the levels of frederick if you don't have the app already and you'd like to improve your listening and pronunciation this is also for parents or, so if you're a, uh, most of the people watching this are probably language, uh, English language learners, uh, and you want to improve your listening and pronunciation and maybe your accent. And also uh, if you're a parent and you just want to have uh, a way to teach your kids how to read easily and spell the same thing, uh, you can enjoy this as well. So if you'd like to uh, get Frederick, you can find it by the link in the description below this video. We're going to go through all 35 levels and I think you will enjoy this. Uh, the more you learn like a native, uh, the faster you will become uh, able to speak like one. Uh, so there are 35 levels in Frederick and we're just going to cover all of them and go through the levels of phonics in order. Uh, and I'm going to talk about the various rules and reasons why we pronounce things the way we do. And I'll take questions as we go. Uh, but if you have questions about specific pronunciation, just uh, wait and see if I cover that in the lesson or in the video before you ask about that. All right, if there are any questions, let me know. But let's jump right into it. All right, so in the first level of Frederick, we're covering the alphabet. Uh, please stay, teach us some Japanese. <laughs> Maybe I'll cover some Japanese uh, as well in the video. We'll see. A L P H A B E T. Now, people will uh, argue about different uh, ways or different orders that you might teach things, uh, but the reason we begin and the reason I teach the alphabet first is because the sounds of the letters will change, but the names of the letters do not. All right? So we always have A. And A, we have the capital letters and the lowercase letters. All right, so very easy, just starting out. The names of the letters will not change, but the sounds of the letters do, okay? So uh, Arturo mentioned Japanese. So just as an example, uh, you don't really have this problem in Japanese, but it is a big problem for language learners uh, trying to learn English. So as an example, we might have uh, a word or a, a character like ka, so this is a Japanese and it's always pronounced like ka. It doesn't matter what you, pr what you put like next to it or on the other side of it, whatever, uh, it's gonna have the same pronunciation. But English letters change, the pronunciation of English letters, uh, they change depending on the other letters around them. So that's why we learn things in this order. All right, so in the first level of Frederick, you will have 
the alphabet. And so rather than me going through and, and telling you all of the sounds and giving you all of those, you can get that right in Frederick. You can get that for free. Just download the app with the description uh, in the link below this video. All right, so level two. Now this is where we start learning the different sounds of the letters. So level one is the alphabet. Level two is where we start talking about the different sounds. And we begin from simple and start moving up to complex sounds. And it's, it's actually quite simple if you follow the structure. Uh, but anyway, so we begin with the uh, short vowels. And uh, I'll abbreviate this here just uh, con for consonants. So the vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. And sometimes Y. We'll put Y over here too. So we will learn more about that a little bit later in this video. But for the, for the most part, you got these five main ones and you will hear these again and again in different ways. The pronunciation of the consonants, they don't really change very much. Uh, and you'll see that as we go through the video. So the more important thing to understand is how the vowels change. The vowels do a lot of work uh, for improving pronunciation and for, for creating pronunciation. Uh, but we will cover just the short vowel sounds here, so I'll cover these very quickly. So we have a, e, i, a, a. A, e, i, a, a. A, e, i, a, a. Now keep in mind that I am uh, from the United States, so I'm going to have American English pronunciation rather than British uh, or uh, Canadian or Australian. So my pronunciation will be slightly different, but this is the general form of how people will be learning in any country uh, that's teaching English. So we have the short vowel sounds, and uh, to hear these again and again, also get Frederick. You will hear all of these sounds, and you can listen to me. It's my voice uh, giving all these different sounds in Frederick, so you can hear that as many times as you like. And the importance here, the reason we designed Frederick the way we did, is so that you can compare the different sounds, okay? So, a, e, i, a, a. And then we have the consonant sounds. I won't go through all of those because there are a lot of them, uh, but it's, it's quite simple if you go through the app and as you, as you learn and compare the different sounds. But the basic idea is that the vowels have more of the melody of the language, so a, u, a, o, that kind of thing. And the consonants give the, like, the beat or the percussion of the language. So we might have kuts, 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 like a beatboxing kind of thing. So we, would be, uh, we begin in, uh, in Frederick with the alphabet. The second level, we have, again, short vowels, and then the consonants, so we would have something like k, a, ka. Or we have a t, e, or w, i, or b, a, or s, a, like that. And as you compare these different sounds, you will learn to make uh, very simple words, and this is how children learn to read. So they all learn to read uh, using this same thing. And these simple rules that we're learning here, this is called phonics. So phonics, like phone, meaning the, meaning the sound. Asina, oh, so confusing. <laughs> yeah, so this, this video, you can think about this like a, as a complement to the app. So what I want to do is take you through some of, the, I'll take you through all of the levels, but use Frederick to actually go through and listen to the different sounds and compare those. So you can spend a lot more time doing that, but I just wanted to highlight some important things that can help you remember these sounds. Uh, again, these are the forgotten rules of pronunciation. So phonics, I'll just put uh, Frederick up here. So this is the app and then link is in the description. So we have, uh, again, we have the short vowel sounds. Level three continues with the same set of sounds, but now we have three letters instead of two. So we're adding an additional sound here. It's still the same sound, so it's still just the regular simple consonant sounds. So we might have a word like cat, k, a, t, and then we have t, e, x, tex, tex. But remember, the point is we're learning just the sounds of the words by understanding the individual letter sounds. And there are rules for these that we call phonics. Now, the interesting thing about English and the reason it can be confusing is because about 84% of the language 
is phonics, so we'll just put 84 up here. So 84% of the language is understandable with phonetic rules like this, and the rest of it is just things that you need to remember. So I'll, I'll show you some more of those as we go through the levels, but basically this is the, the simple format, the simple structure that you're using to learn phonics and understand the language the same way native kids are learning it. So again, we go through here. I'm just adding a few more. Uh, let's see, we'll do, uh, and we'll just put a T over here again. We'll put a B over here again. So we have B, A, T, BAT, or S, A, B, SUB, SUB. So the first thing we're doing, this is called a consonant, vowel, consonant word, and we're just learning the individual sounds of letters. So nothing has changed yet, we're just going through these in order. So we begin with the alphabet to learn the letter names, and then we go through the letter sounds, all right? If you have any questions, let me know. Now the next thing, in level four, this is where we start looking at blending sounds together. And this is very important for learning to pronounce like a native, if you'd like to sound more native and natural when you speak. And in English, again, the, the two important things that you need for pronunciation, number one is understanding the sounds of individual letters and understanding words, and then also understanding how words blend together. So we can blend individual letter sounds in the same way, uh, like Ah. So this is still the short vowel ah sound, like st, but we're going to blend these two together. And by blending, I just mean we say them faster. So it's the same sound. We're not changing the sound, we're just changing it, uh, changing the speed of it here. So if we uh, pronounce these individually, st, and then blend it together, st, 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 stop, stop, okay? So in level four, you will find lots of examples of this, like another one would be crab. So we're still just, just going step by step through the, the, uh, the phonetic rules here, They're not changing anything about these. It's still the same simple pronunciation of these, but we're just blending two or three letters together. So we might have S-T-R-A-P. This is a three-letter blend, and again, by blend, I mean that we're just saying the letters faster. We're not changing anything. There are no new sounds in the pronunciation. Hopefully that makes sense. Stir, strap, strap. All right, so level five. So we got blends here for level four. Level five, this is where we get digraphs. Now a digraph just means we're going to take two letters and produce a new sound from that. We take two letters and produce a new sound from that. So we've learned so far from the, uh, the consonant sounds over here, we've got k and h, for example, but we put them together as one sound, ch, ch. So we get a word like chicken, chicken chicken, chicken, but it's the same thing, it's the same letters, it just has a different sound. So this is a digraph. This is now, we're starting to get different sounds from letters. So we have CH, SH, TH, and WH. So the pronunciation will be a little bit different depending on the word, uh, but usually you'll have the similar pronunciation of So we might have a word like why, or when, or this, or ship, ship, all right? Now it's important, especially when you're teaching these things to kids, that we don't teach too many new rules at the same time. We want to teach just one new thing with each level, with each time we go up a level in the app, this is what we do, but also if you're just teaching uh, or even learning pronunciation normally. What will sometimes happen is uh, parents or teachers will teach too many rules at the same time and it becomes a lot more confusing uh, to try to understand the language. So from digraphs, see the next level here. All right, so we're gonna do, yes, I got these in order, NG and NK. 
N, G, and N, K. So ing, like I, N, G, so ring or sing, very common, especially if you're talking about a continuous action, like I'm running or playing. So I, N, G, ing, 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 ing. And you really, you feel this in your nose when you say it, ing, ing. And the same thing with N, K. So we might have sink and ring. Now remember, I don't want to uh, take too much time going through all of these right here in the video because you can hear all of the different sounds in the app, uh, but I just want to make sure everybody understands why we're going through these in order. And again, if I'm going too fast, let me know. All right, let's see. Uh, number seven, we've got AL. I'll just put these. AL, EL, IL. O, L, and U, L. And so all of these, now we're starting to learn. Again, new sounds. They come together. It makes a slightly different sound than you might expect. So like the, the word cat, this is cat, but this sound is like ah, ball. So ball or bell or ill, so bill or doll, or sk, skull, skull. So ball, bell, bill, doll, skull, skull, all right? Remember, you can find all of these in the app, so if you feel like you're being rushed, just take your time going through the different levels of the app, but it will show you how everything works, and you can compare all of these different sounds, all right? Any questions so far? I think we're going, let me make sure everybody is all right. All right. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, Abraham, so I already have all of your course and I'm enjoying it as much as I improve. Glad to hear it, but I want your advice on how to improve spelling. Yes, so Frederick, if you do not have Frederick already, just click on the link in the description of this video. Uh, and this is the best way to learn spelling because it will take you through all of the different uh, sounds of English as well as exceptions. Now, I didn't mention that yet, but since we've covered a few things already, I'll talk about some exceptions to the rules. So, as an example, the word the, this is a rule breaker. So, we might think, okay, the pronunciation, we have th. This is a digraph that I just showed you before from level five. Uh, but the pronunciation is not the, the, we say the, the. And you will sometimes hear this pronounced as the, like the something or the something. And this is another word where it depends on the other words around it, where, you know, maybe the meaning of it. So even a, a word like red, this could be read or read, depending on the context. So if we're talking about the past tense, it would be read. If we're talking about the present, we're talking about read, even though it's the same word with the same spelling. I apologize. All right, so going through those, these are the kinds of exceptions that we also teach in the app. So you will learn all of these things from, uh, I think level four is the first word, uh, or the first level, well, no, maybe level three, actually. Level three is the first level that has, what does skull mean? Skull is the big bone in your, in your head. Kind of looks like this, the, the skull. So there's the, the jaw bone with the teeth. That's your skull the hard bone here, your skull. And another great thing about the app is that we show you images of everything. So if you want to know what skull is, you'd see a couple of pictures of skulls to help you understand how it works. All right, never found you live. Martin says, thank you for all you give us. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Glad you're enjoying the videos. All right, looks like nobody has any questions so far. This is making sense, I think, for people. So let's move up to level eight. Now this is one of the things that my sister specifically was uh, curious about because she had not learned this rule. Uh, and again, these are the things that often parents don't know or people have forgotten. Even natives have forgotten these rules and they just know how to read because they practiced so much. Uh, but if you practice with these things, so if we begin with the word like pin, so you would learn this in level three of the app. P, I, 
Mm, nothing has changed. But for level eight, this is where we get the magic E. So we call this magic E or bossy E. So to boss someone around means to tell them to do something. You're being bossy. Hey, tell me to do something. You're telling me to do something to boss someone around. Now, the tricky thing about this, and it can be confusing, especially for children, is because the letters are not touching, but the sound of this, or the because this E is here, it changes the sound of this letter here. So, so far we've learned just the short vowel sounds. So remember the short vowel sounds. A, E, I, A, A. A, E, I, A, A. But now we're gonna have the long vowel sounds. So not the short vowel sounds, the long vowel sounds. And it's easy to remember these because it's just the name of the letter. So we have A, E, I, O, U. So a word like this, if we have no E on there, we just have pin, that's the short vowel sound. But now we have the long vowel sound, P, I, N, pine, like a pine tree. So how to pronounce presumably. <laughs> presumably, save, save questions for uh, more difficult words until later, but presumably, that's how you say it, presumably. All right, so if we have a word like P, I, N, and we put the E here, the sound of the E, we don't have any sound for that, but this becomes the long sound, P, I, N, pine, pine, all right? We'll give a few more examples of this. Let's see, we have M, A, T, Matt, Matt. We put an E on the end of that, so the E is here, changes this, says its own name, so the letter says its own name, M, A, Mate, mate. Or we have rat, rate, rat and rate. Now when you're in level eight in the app, you can listen and compare the different sounds the app will actually change and you can listen to the individual sounds of the letters. If you click on the E, nothing happens because there's no sound for that, all right? R-A-T-E, we pronounce it rate, rate, or same thing, rose, rose. So the E is here, that's why we have the long O, rose, rose, rose. You'll find many, many examples in the app, and again, it's a lot better to compare the different sounds that will really help your brain understand the rules without trying to study anything. So we'll put magic E up here. And let's see, what do we have for level nine? Uh, vowel digraphs. Okay, so 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. These are vowel digraphs. So we learned consonant digraphs before. So you remember a consonant digraph like CH and TH. So these are two consonants. Now we're learning two vowels, A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. So we're putting these together in different ways to make all the different sounds that we have for these. So we have the long A, we'll put long A, long E, I, O, and U for all of these sounds. So let's go through them and think of some ways that we can make the A sound with different letter combinations. So as an example, we have a word like rain, rain. Now a rule that kids often learn is that when we have uh, two vowels, so when two vowels go walking, the first vowel does the talking. We have two vowels here. When you have two vowels walking, the first one does the talking. So that's how we can have er, a, n, rain, rain. All right, so it doesn't work all the time, and it's important to remember there will be times when rules are broken, but generally they work pretty well, especially when teaching kids. So if you have two vowels together, usually the first one says, uh, says its name. All right, let's go back and make sure we didn't have any uh, questions, anybody losing anything. Let's, uh, let's see, Tuzo, I downloaded this app. I am facing problems to use it. Uh, be specific. What are, what, what is the specific issue you're having using the app? Uh, if you're just installing it fresh, you've not had it on your device before, it will take you through a tutorial 
uh, and you can come back and watch this video later. I will make this video available for people. Uh, but again, it's, it's important to, to learn kind of the general rules for these things so you can use them by yourself and, and remember them a little bit easily, uh, more or more easily, or if you're trying to teach uh, children, you can do that as well. Uh, but go back and use the app. And if you have specific questions or you have an error or something like that, uh, send us a mail at info at englishanyone.com so we can help. Jamin, best teacher ever. You guys are too kind. Hey, bro, I'm here in Brazil. God bless you. By the way, YouTube still sucks for notifications. Yes. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, I don't know. No idea. Uh, hands down the best guy. Let's see. Well, Sam Walton is back. Nice to see you, Sam. Nice to see you. All right, uh, so going through these, I'll give a few more examples. If you can think about anything else, feel free to post down in the chat if you can think of any other words that follow this rule. So we have another one like pay. So we here we have, again, two vowels. When two vowels go walking, the first vowel does the talking. All right, A-Y. So the pronunciation, we can actually go through the word. A, pay. And that's how you pronounce it. Pretty easy, all right? So remember, the words, uh, the, the pronunciation rules don't always work like that, as you will see. Yep, pain, another good example. Pain. Pain. Ran and rain, yes. So ran, so we have the er, at, n. This is just the short vowel sound. Ah, er, at, n, ran. But we have the long a sound in this example, er, a, n, rain. So same thing with pan and pain, all right? So in the app, you can compare these different sounds and hear, ah, it's a different sound. Pan and pain, ran and rain. Make a little song out of it. Yes, education. <laughs> yes, we will cover even uh, longer things like that you will find in the app. The most we are exposed to these vowel combination are the more, yes, so the more, the more exposed you are and the app will expose you to hundreds of them, thousands of them. All right, I'm not answering any more difficult questions about long words until we get later uh, in the video. All right, so going through these, you will learn long A sound, long E. Can you think of any combinations? I'll add one more for long A. A, A. You turn up your microphone just a little. Turn up the microphone just, let me see if I can turn the gain up on that. Uh, Hopefully it's coming in clearly. It might be when I'm, when I'm looking away from the microphone, it doesn't come in as clearly, but hopefully you can hear me. So A is another long A sound, but it's just a different letter combination like the word eight, eight, eight. It's the same sound as eight, like I ate something, all right? I ate the sandwich. So we have A, and this is the same rule as magic eat. Magic E. Ask questions later about long words, because I will cover a lot of those things in, uh, in the later levels of the app. So eight, because at, just with the short vowel sound over here, and with magic E, because we have the E here, that becomes A, and there you go, eight, eight. That's how you pronounce it. All right, hopefully. Drew is the smartest man I've ever seen. <laughs> I doubt it. Maybe you have not seen many people. Uh, but I'm just, uh, I'm just sharing things that have helped me uh, and helped a lot of other people out there. So hopefully you will enjoy this as well. All right, moving on to long E. I don't want to take, I'm already taking too much time. How long we've been here? About 30 minutes. Oh my goodness, 30 minutes and we're only on level, uh, level 10. Still got a ways to go. So long E. Can you think of anything that has a long E sound, as an example, the E-A, or we have R-E-E-L, E-E. -E. Remember, two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. Now, this isn't always true. You might have a word like field, field. And you will learn lots of good examples uh, in the app, and there will again be lots of exceptions as well, but you will also remember because you get to see pictures of all these things to make them a lot easier to remember. All right, let's see. 
Street, Dean. Yes, very good. Eel, very good. Yes, look at that. You guys got it. All right, so when you're learning these, you will learn lots of different exceptions in the app. Number, uh, let's see, number 11, so level, and again, these are going along with the app. So if you have the app with you, you can actually play with that and look at those different levels and compare those different sound combinations. All right, so we have long I. Can you think of anything with an I sound, long I? So we might have a short thing like pie. Y'all want some pie? Who remembers that? Y'all want some pie? <laughs> so I had this, uh, this lady when I was growing up, uh, we would go to her house sometime for dinner uh, and she was from this like southern, southern part of, uh, yep, island. Yep, you got a short, short thing like that as well. Like I with island, I-S-L-J-N-D. Island, island, lie, another good example. Lie. So this is one example. We got two vowels go walking and the first vowel does the talking. Yep, fly is another good example. Uh, I'll cover the, uh, the Y in just a second because I want to make sure we go through. Actually, we could do that right now. Uh, so looking at the two different combinations for, uh, for vowels. So we have a word like fly. So we already covered uh, E, so we will compare these two right now. So we have a word like fly. So this is the vowel sound. Uh, for Y, and we also have a word like happy. Now, very simple for remembering the difference. How do you know if you pronounce it I or E? It's just the number of sounds in the word. So I, I can't really think of an exception to this rule. There must be, I'm sure there are, but in general, this rule really holds. We've got one sound, fly, my, try, buy, sigh things like that. Uh, but happy, we've got two or more. Happy, funny, happy, funny. So other words like this, if you've got two sounds, uh, we call this a syllable, a syllable, happy, happy. And fly is just one syllable, happy, happy, fly. All right, so fly, try, hi, we also have that. So just like we've got island, high, and the same thing for the long E. I, I don't want to cover everything in this, uh, in this video, but you will learn things like he and she and we. Those are all covered as well. All right. All right, let's take another pause here. We got some more. Uh, hello, Drew. Glad to see the live. Just wanted to know the different ways of using come on. All right, we're not covering that in this video. Uh, thanks, bro. It's 10, 40 a.m. here, uh, p.m. here in Brazil. Your class helps me a lot. You were the best. Glad to hear it. Yes, I want to keep focused on this video. So we talked about uh, like other things like phrasal verbs. You can find those in other videos. This one is just about pronunciation. All right. The channel is pure gold. Glad to hear it. Harold, you're very kind. If you know other people who would uh, enjoy these videos, please share them. All right. So moving on to O. Something that sounds like O. So the long O sound, we might have like g O gold or fold or sold or told. Can you think of any others? Put them in the chat. Use your, use your English, see if you remember. So Sammy says hi, that's also from a long, uh, the long I sound, hi. Hi. Bold. Yep. Bold. Owl, ah, so owl, if you listen to that sound, owl, owl, that's a different pronunciation. We will go to that later. Old is another example. What about boat, boat? Same thing, two vowels go walking. The first vowel does the talking. The first vowel does the talking. So b, o, t, boat, or coat, or bow. Yes, here we go, another one. So o, w. So here, you have to be careful. Remember, the pronunciation can change. So we have a bow, like b o or bowl, same thing. It's that same O sound. So in level 12, you will find lots of different examples of this, all right? Level 13. Now, this is a little bit different, uh, the long oo, the long oo sound. We often don't say you, it's just like an oo. Uh, though and thought, yeah, those will have uh, those are also exceptions that you will learn in the app. All right, so long U sound. 
So we had an example before, like magic E. So we have the uh, short vowel sound here, k, uh, b, cub. But if we put the E on the end here, this becomes cube. So we say the letter U, cube, cube. But often for these, uh, for long vowel, uh, long vowel U, so an example would be zoo, zoo, zoo. Uh, or we can have like, well actually flute, let's see, we have a food. So flute would be an example of this, F-L-U-T-E, it's a magic E word, flute, flute. Cut and cute, yes, very good, same thing, cut. Short value, now we got long value, cute. Root, yes, very good, another good example. All right, so these are all the simple long vowel sounds and there are many different combinations to make these. Utter, well, that's a different thing. Utter is a short vowel, utter sound, all right? But you can review lots of different examples of these from levels uh, nine through 13. All right, let's see, uh, in level 14, almost halfway through, gonna have to speed this up. Soup, yes, another good example. Soup, boot, very good, very good. Level 14. Uh, let's see, we will have double consonants like apple, ap, p, 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 p. So even when we have two consonants, the same consonant together, it just blends apple. So we say one sound, apple, apple, apple. Let's see. So I want to dominate uh, my pronunciation with rules. Do you know any other tag that I can't retain the rules in my brain a long time? Yes, so the, 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 the point of going through this is just to help you understand individual, uh, the individual levels and how we teach phonics for kids. Uh, but if you want to learn these without trying to memorize any rules, just play through the app and it will, it will teach you those and develop your pronunciation and listening automatically. That's why we built it that way. Supper, another good one. What about you? Uh, you, that's it breaks the rule. You, well, you would be another, that's for, uh, for the short or for the long vowel, you, you. So we could have a word like soup or you, you, same thing. So we've got, it's like yup, yup with the ooh sound, yup, ooh. Next, 15, so uh, in this level also, I think we have uh, like Q-U, like quack, quack. Yes, root, there you go, another good example. Uh, so quack, and let's see if anything else in level 14 and PH. So another consonant digraph, PH, like phone uh, or phonics. There's the same sound up there, phonics and phone. All right, level 15, what do we have here? This is the O-G, like the ah sound. So I remember some people asking me why I didn't have dog in level three, because it's a three letter word, it's a simple word that many kids learn, and that's because the pronunciation is different than the regular short vowel sound. I'll put them up here for you so you can hear the difference. So if we have a word like, do something very simple like box, or hot. So the sound of this is like an ah sound. Yeah, we did TH, uh, that's in uh, level five, level five of the app. So fog, the same thing, or frog, same thing. Money, oh, that's another good one. All right, so box and hot, different from dog. Hot dog, so even the word hot dog, Hot dog. It's two different sounds. Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. Yeah. Not is over here. Not. Not dog. Not dog. Not dog. <laughs> Again, you can hear these different sounds here, but we're practicing that kind of sound. Ah. Ah. So another word we might have would be claw. Claw. So a dog, a claw, it's the same sound. Claw, claw. Friend says that's cool. Yes. So again, just because it's a short word and it looks like it could be that, sometimes it's not. All right.
right? Ow is another thing. We'll get to that in a moment. Applause. Applause. All right? Moving on. Level 16. I think actually we do get to that sound right now. No, we do not. Bread. This is the E eh sound, the short vowel E. Eh. So just like we have like P, E, T, Pet. Pet. So claw, very good, another example. But we have two, com two, two vowels, two vowels to make that same sound. Bur, ed, bread. Or red, the past tense of read, red. Red bet. So that's a regular short vowel, simple. So one letter, one sound, short vowel sound. Or spread, another good example, S-P-R-E-A-D, spread. And you can hear how the words that we've practiced so far, if you go back through the pronunciation, you learn, ah, okay, this is a three-letter blend, sp-er, spur. We don't change the name of the letter or the sound of the letter, we're just saying them faster. Spur. Eh, and then a short sound, d, breath, breadwinner, very good. Ah, great, ah, great is a different sound, great, great. That's the uh, long A sound, great, great, great. All right, next we have, let's see, level 17. Uh, this will be oi, so oi and oi, oi and oi. Oi, so you can think of oil, or soil, or we might have a uh, boy, so the same sound, oi, oi. Do they do that on purpose to make English pronunciation difficult to learn? Yes, unfortunately, uh, English, is, English is a tricky language because it comes from many different languages, and so we get a little bit of pronunciation from here and a little bit from there and then the spellings change over time and it gets a little bit tricky like that. So it's even difficult for native speakers, all right? So don't feel bad, it's everybody has the same problem. But if you go through it in order, it's really easy to learn it, all right? English is easier than Spanish, so well, that's interesting. Huh. Yeah, I don't know, I, I, a lot of things in Spanish, it's, uh, it's basically the same word, but maybe the pronunciation is a little bit different. So you might have like, like, uh, Television is like television, the same, it's like the same word, but it sounds a little bit different. All right, level 18, we're moving along. Let's see, 40 minutes into this, oh my goodness. Here we go, book. So there are a couple different combinations of OO. Hello, Drew, but sound volume is so low. Is it, is it low for everybody? Is it low for everybody? It should be pretty, let's see here. I think, I think we're up okay, can you hear me? I think people can hear me. I think it just when I'm looking away, I'll, I'll, I'll make an effort to look at the microphone to speak into the microphone. Okay, so there we go. Good or took. Very good. So it's the sound of it. Uh, 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 like you got like punched in the stomach. Uh, uh. So hook, took, book, lots of good ones. All right, so maybe uh, other people turn your volume up. <laughs> I'm getting uh, reactions from both people over there. All right, so also with this same sound, this uh sound, now be careful, moon is different. That's a long O sound. And I think that was uh, level 13, long or long, uh, long U sound, excuse me. All right, that's what makes it so amazing to learn. Yes, so if you like it and it's a little bit challenging, maybe you can have some fun with that. All right, so we also have push. Push and pull, push and pull. It's the same sound, b, u, k. Now be careful, mood and boot. That's a long U, mood and boot. And you will hear all these again in the app, so you can compare. Pool is another example. That's also the long U sound rather than u, uh, u. Uh. All right? So you will learn exceptions and some things. It's like, it's crazy. Why does it go in there? Door is a different sound. Tooth is also a different sound. <laughs> yes, very good, but you will learn those as you, as you review them and get practice. It looks like a lot of people need the app, but it will go through. Yes, blood is also different. Very good. Blood is also different. All right, let's get these out of here. Move on to level 19. 
Let's see, what do we have for 19? 19, here we go, cloud. This is where we get that ow, ow sound. You can also hear this as C-O-W, cow, cloud, cow, cow. So the same sound is ow pronunciation, uh, even though it's O-W, sound. Yep, same thing. So S-O-U-N-D, sound. How, proud, about, yes, very good. Cowboy, there you go. So you got cow and then boy from the O-I. Come is a different word. Uh, so come is gonna be an exception, so it doesn't follow the regular magic E rules. Root again, root. Root is going to be long U, doubt. Yes, very good, doubt, doubt. Uh, let's see, next we're gonna have 20. I know this is a common one that uh, people uh, should. That's also going to be an exception. Should, should. So 20 is a schwa. Let's see, wait. Schwa, W-A. So the schwa is a little bit difficult. Uh, it's it really just listening to the sound of this and hearing the comparison of the different sounds. As an example, we'll hear about. So we already have the ow from about here, but the uh, this is the schwa sound, about, about. So it sounds more like just uh. Another example, panda, panda. Mouse, yes, mouse also is that same thing, mouse. Mouse, banana. <laughs> Banana, that's right. Yep, that's right. Very good. Around, the same thing. Yep. So around, usually when we have uh, like a word starting with an A like that. So house, very good. It's also going to be up there. House, house. All right, pretty good. You guys know quite a few. Good work. All right, so I recommend you, you look at the examples uh, of the schwa examples inside the app for level 20. Level 21, what do we have over here? 21 is going to be Y. Uh, so we're going to have the shorter. So if we have a word uh, that has Y, like physics. So physics or mystery. It's the I, I. This is a short I sound. Mystery, physics, metaphysical. You have lots of different examples of that too. Make sure we don't miss anybody here. Smout is not a word. Well, at least not a, not a word I've heard. If you're writing on the board, I can read, yes. If you're writing, do you mean writing? W-R-I-T-I-N-G. Remember, write. W-R-I-T-E. Write, write. Uh, let's see. What is the app called? So the app is called Frederick, and if you click on the link in the description of this video, you can download it for free. Uh, the whole thing, if you want to get all 35 levels, it's about 20 bucks if you get that. Uh, but it's incredibly cheap for going over 2,000 words, and it will automatically improve your listening and pronunciation. Your classes are really cool. Glad to hear it. Uh, I'm just trying to cover things that people have uh, difficulty with, and often I think maybe I talk too much. Uh, but my problem is usually I like giving a lot of information to help people really understand something, but maybe I give too much. So in this case, I really want to go through all the different levels to help people understand things, and as you go through them, it will be easier uh, to learn even an individual sound, because even a word like schwa by itself, it's got other sounds in it. And so if you go through in order, you can know exactly what sounds you're struggling with, fix those particular things with your pronunciation and listening, and then everything else becomes a lot easier because of that. All right. Next level, 22. 22 in the app. Let's see, what do we have here? Oh, city. So this is going to be where we have hard and soft G. Hold on, Frederick, first timer, but I've watched your videos. Thanks so much for what you've been doing for us. Yeah, glad to hear it. All right. Maybe it is a, a mount. A mount, yes, probably. Now this is another another simple sound rule that lots of uh, young kids learn. So we have uh, both the C and the G. So these will have a hard sound and a soft sound. A hard sound and a soft sound. And the way to remember this is if we look at our vowels again, A, E, I, O, 
U. Usually with uh, C and G, if we have uh, like a hard C, this is going to be K, K. If we have a hard, uh, or it's, uh, for E, it's going to be soft. I, it's going to be soft. And for these two, it's going to be hard, hard vowel sound. So as an example, uh, let's just give a few of these for each one. So we'll do, uh, let's see, C-A-M-P, camp, camp. So because we have an A here, we get a hard C, K -k, hard C. But if we have a word like, let's see, we'll do uh, like computer, same thing. So we have an O here, we have a K -k -k, computer, the hard C sound, computer. Or if we have cut. Again, we have that hard C sound, A, O, and U. But for E, so if we have a cell, we're going to have a soft C sound, soft C sound. Or the same thing with uh, I, C-I-T-Y, city, soft sound, soft sound. All right, looks like we had a couple of comments come up here. Uh, prunes, what does this mean? Yeah, prune is like a, you should just look up a picture of that. But remember, when you're the, the interesting thing about English, and this is true of other languages, it's true of Japanese, it's probably true of your language as well, but you might have a word like prune. So a prune is like a, a fruit that you can eat, but it's also meaning to cut something, like to prune a tree. So you might prune a prune tree. <laughs> so prune, again, when you're learning vocabulary, you don't want to begin with the vocabulary itself. You might have some word, if you, if you start with the vocabulary, uh, then try to go back to a situation. And a good way to do that, if you're just looking up words, rather than translating it into your native language, do a Google image search for the word prune. And you will learn, ah, okay, that's what that means. So this is how natives are learning the language. You should always be learning English as a first language, not as a second language. So don't try to translate it uh, through your native language. Learn it all in English. All right. Frederick is a grand, grand, grandson of Chopin. Ah, uh, yes, that's true. Yes, it's a many, many common, uh, I think it, yeah, it's a pretty common name, actually. Uh, the reason uh, we called it Frederick, uh, if you're interested in that, let me know uh, where, where I got the name for that. Uh, how many languages can I speak? I only speak English and Japanese. All right, let's see. I have some issues pronouncing with versus with. Yeah, with. I'll do, I'll do a quick thing because we covered this already. So with and with. Now notice the difference between these two. If I say with, like I am with, you know, I have like I am with a marker or this thing with that thing, and then width, meaning the, like how wide something is, width. So width and width. Now notice a little difference in how I'm pronouncing this. Basically, we don't say the D sound, we just leave a little space in there, width, width. So it's almost like you're saying the same thing, like I'm pronouncing this, but it's, I just leave a little space, width, width. So if you leave just a little space, you'll get that pronunciation good. Width, width. It's the same thing, you have to try to think about it, but this is how natives are thinking about the language when they're learning it. Ah, uh, width, 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 width. So you can overpronounce it and try to say width, but nobody pronounces the language like that. Width, width. So the only difference is having that little space in there. So prune, yes, a prune is like, a, uh, it's a it's a plum. It's dried, so you might uh, like a grape becomes a, like a raisin. So we have like a grape like this. It gets all kind of shriveled up like that, to shrivel up in the sun when you dry it up. That becomes a raisin. All right, and a plum becomes a prune, a prune, prune. All right. Let's see, any other questions about that? All right, prune looks like, yeah. So if you look for the, uh, look, for the uh, look for the image of something if you can first. It's much better than trying to use your native language. All right, I search for cavalry first and look in the picture and understand very well. It helps me a lot. Yeah, let's see, it's not so, uh, 
the, oh, the aha moment, yes. <laughs> Very good. So ocean is width that is rape. The ocean is so, ah, you'd say the ocean is so wide. The ocean is so wide in this case, but you could talk about the width of the ocean. It's kind of difficult, that pronunciation. Hi, good morning, you live in a, you're in my country, 3 a.m. in the bank full. You've helped me a lot. All right, glad to hear it. Uh, so I think someone asked very quickly where the name came from. The original name for uh, the app was Scroll Phonics because you're getting to scroll through the different letters and create different words. Uh, but I decided to call it Frederick because there is a, like, this is an American story, but there was a man named Frederick Douglass who taught himself to read. And that's the whole point of the app. So you can actually give the app to a child and they can teach themselves how to read the language. In the United States right now, there is a huge problem with illiteracy. So many children uh, are unable to read and lots of people who come to the United States are also unable to learn the language. So I wanted to make something for everybody uh, and that's why people, not only my uh, English learners, are using it for their pronunciation, uh, but also lots of kids in the United States are using it just to learn to read. Yes, the ocean is so wide. Uh, and glad to hear it, Ingrid. If you know other people who would enjoy the videos, please share them. All right? I think we're getting off track a little bit here. <laughs> uh, that's another great phrase for you, to get off track. So if you imagine like a train track, it's going like this, ah, the lesson is moving along, but ah, like we just got off track talking about something else. To get off track. To get off track. All right, so uh, I covered, let's see. So the soft C and the hard C and the same thing with the letter G. So if you have G-A, G-O, and G-U, and then if we have G-E, and then G-I. So G-A, we might have gas, or go, or uh, guts. These are all hard G sound, g g g g g g But if we have G-E and G-I, these are soft, soft G sounds. So we might have a gem, or we might have uh, like a I think that when I did this on Instagram, someone actually asked me about girl, which we will cover in a moment. This IR is actually a specific sound. That's why we have the g -er girl thing, same thing. So gift, also yes, we have uh, the hard G sound, g -g gift, gift, gift. But typically we would have G like giant, same thing. So there will be exceptions to the rules, but generally it's like this. So we have a hard C and a hard G for A, O, and U, and then for E and I, that's the soft C and the soft G sound. All right, next, level 23, moving along here. 57 minutes, oh my goodness, it's almost been an hour. Oh my goodness, 23. God, yes, so that's a hard G with the O next to it, God. All right, next we have, uh, so the controlled, uh, our controlled vowels, let me just start up at the top. So we just had one example of that. Uh, so 23, these are called our controlled vowels, uh, or bossy R. <coughs> oh, Ingrid, you're fine. Can you speak any Japanese? Does your, does your father know any Japanese? And does he use it? Oh my God, I arrived, uh, <laughs> I arrived late. <laughs> it's okay, you can go back and watch the video later. Uh, so our control, Are controlled vowels. So these are a couple of different levels. I made a few levels uh, to cover these. So we have the first one, R, R, to get the guts of giants. Yes, very good. The guts of giants. R, like star or car or far or bar. All right. Oh, no. Learn some Japanese. <laughs> So star, car, far, the same thing. This sound is the same as just R by itself. It's, it's the exact same sound. R, 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 okay? R. Let's see if we have any others. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so R, so we'll leave that for level 23. You can see lots of different examples. Oh, excuse me. I have two level 23s over here. 24, uh, we've got air. So care or chair, like this, excuse me, air, air, air. Or it might have an exception like B-E-A-R, bear. 
same thing, bear, hair. So hair is going to be back with the, uh, the long A, uh, two vowel sounds like that. So we have air uh, or hair would be, what is that, level 12, I think? No, level, level nine. Mayor is not a word, I don't think. Mayor. I love the sound of R, says Juan. Yes, R. R, like a pirate. R. Mayor. Mayor is going to be uh, Magic E, level eight. <clears throat> I like when you pronounce bear. Bear. Yes, if you like to just listen to me pronounce words, <laughs> you can do this all day in the app, listening to me pronounce hundreds of different words and sounds. Cabinet. Cabinet. <laughs> all right. Next, uh, level 25, we're moving along. Uh, this is going to be ear. So this sound, ear or gear or fear. So remember, sometimes we will have the same letter combination, but it will just make a different sound, all right? Fair is going to be magic E also, fair. I think costarition. Uh, I don't know what that is. Is that what is what is that? I think it's costarition. We have the advantage of pronounce the R like you. I think I may be wrong. We pronounce the R in Spanish different. Yes. And usually you have like a bit more of like a rolled, a rolled R. Arra, arra, a rolled R. And it's different, uh, like that sound is not in Japanese. So like if we have uh, uh, like da, di, du, da, di, du, da, di, du. It's, that sound isn't even in Japanese. All right, next, level 26. All right, this is going to be IR. So this is like girl or bird, the same thing. Bird, girl, bird, girl. English is easier. Well, yeah, I guess it depends on what language you're coming from. All right, going through this quickly. Uh, so also in this, the same er, you will hear other things that are similar to this, uh, like work. So the O-R, work, work, or fur, like a fur coat, a fur coat, fur. It's the same exact sound, it's just spelled differently. I-R, I-R, U-R, and O-R. But be careful, sometimes we will have, let's see, we'll get into level... Uh, 27 is where we have O-R, like fork, 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 or door, door. So rare, 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 pork, yep, same thing, fork, pork, stork, all right. Moving along, almost finished, almost finished. And again, you can find thousands of examples. Corp, yes, same thing. Uh, over 2,000 examples with sentences in the app. So if you click on the link in the description of this video, you can find that. Flirt, yes, flirt, that's an high R sound. Flirt, all right, what do we have here? All right, so now we get to the some of the longer things. We've got I, V, E, like creative. Creative, I slipped the R, ah, okay. Creative, or definitive, expletive, all right, so this is an iv, iv, level 29. Uh, this is gonna be wa, so like watch or water, wa, 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 innovative, yeah. Now you will hear, uh, people will sometimes pronounce these words differently. There's no like one way you might have innovative or someone else will say innovative, innovative, innovative. There's the, you, it's not like one is correct and the other is not. Wallet, warm, what is different sound? What, what, so that's uh, uh, what. And then warm or water. I think we also have Q, let's see, yeah. So we have Q, U here, so like uh, squat or quality. So wallet, yes, wallet would be in here. Wallet, wallet. 
So this is connected. We've already had the, the all sound. So what all it wallet wallet wallet. All right, level 30, get into the last five levels here. Level 30. And again, go through the uh, go through the app itself so you can actually review all these different examples. So level 30, we've got uh, X and the different pronunciations of X. So we might have like fix, or we have exam, exam, exam. So there are different sounds. We might have X or X or X, this kind of sound. And rather than just going through these, you can actually hear all these. So example is another one. Example, example. And you can hear them uh, for these different categories. Mix, acts, yep. 31, what else do we have here? Ah, so this is ED, so another common thing that you will learn. So ed, so we might have a word like uh, cooked. And it's interesting to hear my, like my own daughters learning these different sounds. So they, they now understand the difference between like cooked with like a T sound, or let's see, what's a good example? So baked, another one, or stopped. So where we have the ED, but it's got like a T sound. And rather than giving a bunch of examples, you will hear the differences in how we pronounce these in the app. So really uh, check out level 31 for sure to learn more about the ED sound. All right, level 32, we've got the S and ES. So hearing how words change, yet yeah, booked is another example. <clears throat> so S and ES, we might have uh, like a cat, but then cats, 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 goes, in, cats. Or we might have a word like house, but if we have the S on the end of that, houses, houses. So hearing the difference between when we have S versus ES. The more you hear and check the differences between these, when you can compare these different things, it will really make it easier for you. Hats, same thing. All right, level 32, or 33, excuse me. Uh, level 33, so this is T-U-R-E. Uh, so we have a vulture or a creature. And you will hear different uh, versions of these, like creature or if it's vulture. Uh, or sure, like erasure, future, yeah, very good, culture, same thing, very good. And the last two levels, 34, this is uh, T-I-O-N, we covered this one before, so having, yeah, so cactus, that's got a few things in it, uh, structure, yeah. Uh, so T-I-O-N, you might have uh, like tuition, tuition, or education, 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 adoration, pollution, yep, yep. And the last one, level five, this is going to be silent letters, silent letters. So we might have nat or sign. So we don't say the G, or if you, excuse me, let me write that better, S-I-G-N. <laughs> so the, the, uh, the G is basically silent, sign, or write, or wrist, like that, silent letters. So I haven't covered every single sound in this, but of the 44 sounds of English, you will find all of them inside the app. All right, when will you make a, a live about phrasal verbs? Uh, well, I've got lots of videos about phrasal verbs already. I have a whole program about the visual guide to phrasal verbs, uh, if you'd like to learn more about that. Uh, but watch, if you search our YouTube channel, you'll find that uh, already. So if you look for like phrasal verbs with run, if you search for that on YouTube, you will find uh, a couple of examples of that already. But I already have quite a few videos about phrasal verbs and I talk about them uh, a lot in Fluent for Life as well. There are so many of them. Yeah. <laughs>
Yes, so there are a lot of, a lot of different rules, but again, if you, if you take even a few hours and just go through the different rules, it's, uh, it will improve your pronunciation and your listening very quickly, all right? Now, let's see, we've gone about 70 minutes, but we've covered all 35 levels of the app. Now, this is just kind of touching the beginning. I want to give an overview, especially for parents who also uh, want to know like the kind of different, different things and where to find them inside the app. Uh, but if you go through, if you'd like to learn more phonics, as well as the exceptions to the rules, so things like, uh, like though and thought, you will find words like that inside Frederick as well. So click on the link in the description. If you have any questions about that or if you've already played with Frederick and you'd like to give us some feedback, let me know. Uh, but now is the time to ask questions and if you'd like to know uh, the pronunciation of a particular word, I can give it to you, all right? So that'll be it uh, for this, this portion of the video. If you have questions, I'll take a few minutes. Uh, let me get some water first, to see if anybody has any. All right. Yes, so Harold says, thanks a lot, Drew. And yes, it's my pleasure to help you guys out with that. So I'm going to take a sip of water. Ah, all right. Uh, the secret to good pronunciation is to listen carefully to good speakers. Yes. Uh, but also remember, so what we do in, uh, in Fluent for Life, that's the main video program that we have. So Frederick is uh, just an app for improving your listening, pronunciation, learning your vocabulary as well. Uh, so if, to improve your listening, so let's imagine this is, a, this is an English learner right here. If you only listen to one clear teacher, you will really struggle when you get into a conversation with native speakers. So I am speaking clearly, so I'm understood. But when you're in a conversation, people speak faster, or the vocabulary is more conversational. Maybe it could be expressions like slang that you have not heard before. So the key really to developing good listening and good speaking is to get lots of different examples from different people. So you need kind of teacher examples to help you understand things, but you also need to hear real examples of native speech, okay? And so this is why uh, in Fluent for Life, we take you through these steps. So you can listen to me speaking things and pronouncing things clearly, but you also get to hear other people like native speakers from different countries saying these same things. And so this really improves your listening and you really feel much more confident uh, about real conversations. All right, let's see if I got anything else. Is there a guide or manual about Frederick? I downloaded it, but I couldn't use it. Uh, what, what couldn't you use about the app? So there is a tutorial inside the app. Uh, you can also email us at info at English, anyone, if you have any questions. I think uh, on YouTube as well, we also have a tutorial video, uh, and we are still working on the tutorial, trying to improve it. Uh, but it should be, if you just open up the app and you follow uh, the kind of sections of the tutorial, it will teach you how to play the app. But basically, you learn the pronunciation rules by exploration and discovery. So rather than someone just telling you what the rules are, the point is to go through the app and compare lots of different examples. And that's how you actually learn the pronunciation and remember it uh, very easily. So if you have specific questions about how to use it, uh, let me know. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So let's see, Harold says, it happens sometimes I hear people like not pronouncing the words completely or kind of mixed. Yeah, so th this is a, the thing like the school student, the English learner uh, in a regular language learning classroom is down here, but native speakers are uh, up here, you know, speaking fast and they've got their difficult accents and the crazy vocabulary that you do not learn in school. And so if they're speaking, often it will be difficult and you will not hear everything. That's why you need to go up in steps to reach that. So this is these same kinds of things. And you do this by hearing different people say the same thing. That's just one example of what I call a naturally varied review. All right, I'm Arabic, I wanna speak English. Well, you're in the right place then. All right, contractions used in conversations. Yes, that's another thing. I wanna buy the blueprint promotion, but the offer is gone. Uh, if you send us an email, you should be able to find uh, a link for the Native Fluency Blueprint. Uh, but if you can't find that, uh, just send us a mail about that. 
Actually, I think if you, yeah, just send, send us a mail about that. Uh, okay, thanks so much. I will try it again. Yes, so if you're going through the app, uh, you can also look, uh, look up on our YouTube channel. I think it's called, uh, like, Best Pronunciation App or something. But look up on our channel on YouTube specifically, and you should find a video of that. Uh, I don't have it in front of me. Uh, but you will be able to improve your pronunciation with, with using Frederick, and it's it's. I know for adults, uh, like adults look at Frederick for the first time, and they're and they're. It's a little bit confusing because they want someone to tell them what to do. But if you just start pushing buttons and see what happens, you will remember what it's like to learn as a child. So it's like playing a video game where you're where you're testing things out and you see what happens. And the whole point of it is for you to learn it all in English rather than try to translate it or get some uh, like pronunciation, uh, I don't know, like especially like like in Japan, in Japan for example, uh, a lot of like Japanese teachers are trying to pr teach pronunciation to Japanese students, like English pronunciation, but their pronunciation is not correct. And so the point is to get a real example of how you should pronounce things. Uh, but learn them in an easy order. Uh, let's see. Vincent says, Hi, Drew. Vincent from South Africa. Happy New Year to you and your family. I really miss your lesson. I wish you will notify us when you're alive. Yeah, I, I don't know what to do about notifications. Maybe I'm shadow banned for some reason. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I have a reason to be uh, shadow banned for any reason. Uh, but I don't know. If you like the videos, then click on the link when you see them. Or I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what to do about that. Uh, let's see. Harold says, my uncle's daughter talks to me, and it's confusing because she doesn't pronounce the words correctly. Yeah, she's three. Yeah. I'm learning a second language and the first language at the same time. Yeah, so everybody is doing that. So I'm still learning English words. I learn new English, like new terms for things, or if I'm reading a book about something, I'll learn new English at the same time that I'm learning new Japanese. Uh, yeah, hit the notification bell. Yeah, I think the, like, even, even the notification bell, like, people who hit that still don't get notified. I don't know. I don't know. I thought YouTube liked me. You know, I think, now this is, this is just, you want to hear my, like, conspiracy theory about that? Why, why people don't get notified? <laughs> Let me, let me know. Uh, but if you have any more questions, uh, let me know about those. I can also uh, give you some additional uh, pronunciations of words. Maybe uh, most of the things people have asked me about uh, are also uh, still, in, uh, still in Frederick, though. All right, we got another question here. Uh, Kamal says, hey, Drew, I can't remember the words when I need it. What's your recommend? So what do I recommend for this? All right. So remember, uh, this video is about pronunciation, but learning vocabulary as well. And usually what happens when people are learning new vocabulary in a different language is they will, they will get only to like, uh, I think I covered this in maybe two live videos ago or maybe the last live video, but I talked about the different levels of fluency. Uh, so the first one, uh, like where you, you basically have like exposure to the language. So, so we'll just call that exposure. And this is where you hear something. Maybe you heard a word on a TV show or you read it in a book and you thought, oh, that's an interesting word. Maybe I'll, you know, and you're, you're, you could like remember it or hear it consciously or not consciously. So there, there's lots of information that comes into your brain, but you don't process it because we would go crazy if we were trying to process everything that comes into our brain. Uh, so the next level is awareness. A-W-A-R-E-N-E-S-S. -S. So awareness means you're, you actually understand and you're, you're kind of paying attention to things. Uh, so you might hear a word like, I don't know, what's the, uh, let's just say, let's, let's, I think someone asked about the phrasal verb, come on. And there are different versions or meanings of that as well. Uh, but you would you might hear that from someone, so you're exposed to the word, and then you get awareness when you start understanding what it really means. But the final level, this is where you communicate fluently. Uh, this is called ownership. O w n e r s h i p. Now, ownership means like you really understand what something means. And in that video, uh, I gave the example. 
like from this bottle actually. So you might have, uh, like these are uh, Japanese, there are actually three different written languages uh, in Japanese, and so this is the borrowed Chinese characters. And uh, so you might have a word or a character like this, and when you're exposed to it, it's like, ah, okay, I, I get it, but you don't really understand what that is. You know, you have to have someone show you, it's like, okay, you've, you've had exposure, and now awareness is like, ah, okay, we're gonna show you it actually looks like this. And when you learn, okay, I've reviewed it a few times and now I understand what that means, it's like, ah, okay, it has this meaning and now I get to the ownership level when I've reviewed something enough times. So usually what happens is people will get exposed to something and then they will be aware of it, but they don't reach the ownership level with vocabulary because they just don't review things enough. They don't get enough examples. And often the, the real reason this happens is because uh, review is boring for people. So the mind is not interested in reviewing things again and again, and this is what most people try to do. So they will hear a word or they will take something like this and try to like write it again and again, uh, but that's boring for the mind. So it's, that's really the big problem, the biggest problem of language learning is, is you need review to get to fluency, but review is boring. And so what I did was I just looked at the way natives were learning languages and, and what, we, what we get is naturally varied review. So you have to keep the review different in order to make the information still appealing to your mind. So you take something, like if I teach you a new word like come on or a new phrase or something like that, uh, then you hear it from different people or you hear it in different contexts. And again, it's, it's getting these different examples of basically the same thing that gets you to the ownership level where you really feel confident about using something. So if you know some vocabulary, but you don't feel confident using it, or you know some vocabulary, but you forget it often, it means you don't really own that word. You don't really uh, feel very confident about that. And the amazing thing about this structure uh, is that when you, when you learn anything, you're, you're really getting fluent in individual words and phrases, okay? So, uh, so watch that video, I talk about this more, but the people think they get fluent in English, but you're not really getting fluent in the language, you're getting fluent in individual words and phrases as you learn them. That, and that's why some words you know very well, and you can use them fluently in other words you forget. So it's, it's on like, you can, you can kind of measure each individual word or phrase that you know. Yeah, so if you know a lot of vocabulary, so you're at the awareness level, you know a lot of vocabulary, but you don't have ownership of that. It means you don't really know, you're not really confident about that. So understanding and confidence go up as you go up through these different stages. And you can also go through these very quickly. So you can, you can be exposed to something. That's what I try to do in these videos. So I wanna expose you to something, help you understand it, and then help you really like understand it at a good enough level that you would be able to use it fluently. Right? So remember, you get fluent word by word as you understand something really well. But if you just learn a word one time in a video from a teacher, even if you understand it uh, and you don't review that word again, then you will not get ownership of that word. You will just forget it uh, or it will be in your awareness. So you can understand the word when you hear it, but you won't be able to use it. You don't own the word. Okay, You're kind of like borrowing it sometimes. <laughs> I guess you could think about it that way. Hopefully that makes sense. But yeah, definitely watch that video. Uh, let's see if I missed anybody else. All right, I'm getting your notifications, Drew. I live in Rio, Brazil. Maybe the issue has to do with the country the person lives. Yeah, that could be. That could be a reason. Uh, the the I think what I, and I don't know if this is true or not, but I think it's because I turned off uh, advertising on my videos. So many years ago, I, I like I stopped. That's why if you watch my videos, you don't see any ads in front of them. So I turned off uh, monetization like, I don't know, a couple of years ago, whenever, I don't remember what, what, what time I did that exactly. But if you watch my videos, you will not get any interruption ads before then. Uh, let's see. Yeah, may algorithms detect a word in some activity and got confused, it's possible. Yeah, that's possible also. I have a problem with the app. It's loading all the time and I can't navigate. 
send us a, uh, an image, like a screenshot to info at englishanyone.com. You can also try just exiting out of the app and coming back into it. So often like, like any kind of computer program, uh, you know, it'll get an error sometimes. Uh, let's see, Maya says, thank you, Harold says, I recommend you hit the notification, yeah, and set off. Oh, yeah, so you can try to do that. I don't know what the, what, but pe it's always funny to me when people, people will find me in a video and they will say, hey, I haven't seen you in months. Where have you been? <laughs> I say, I've been right here. If you go back and look at the videos, we usually have something like every, I try to, lately I've been trying to do every week because I'm uh, talking about, um, yeah, just a lot of stuff about fluency and we're getting a lot of new people that are interested in uh, the kinds of stuff we do. But in general, last point I will leave you with, uh, whether you are talking about uh, pronunciation or grammar or vocabulary or remembering words or anything, if you've learned English, so learning English as a first language. So a first language. So rather than learning English as a second language, if you learn it as a first language, everything becomes much easier. So you will stop translating or thinking in your head or hesitating, uh, the kinds of things that stop you. That all comes from learning English as a second language. A lot of the people I help, they're already doing this because they've been learning with me for a while. Uh, but for any new people, learn English as a first language. You can watch lots of videos on my channel that will explain more about this. But this is how you improve all of your skills at the same time very quickly and you don't even need uh, like a practice partner to speak with. If you can learn as a first language, you get lots of great input. It will help you speak fluently automatically. All right, well, let's see. We've gone 86 minutes. What time is it? Yeah, I think it's time for me to, to rest myself after a long day of speaking. <laughs> all right, well, if you have any questions, as usual, you can send us a mail at info at englishanyone.com. Do click on the link uh, in the description to learn more about Frederick. Download the app, give it a try. Really, there's no better way to improve your pronunciation and listening and learn all these things step by step the same way natives do. When you learn English as a first language, you speak it as a first language too. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.